already. Oh, it's so lovely to come out to tumultuous applause. <laughs> Just ask Michael Barrymore. <laughs> they said to me, the idea is that three attractive young couples are going to come round to your house and play games in the dark. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? They said, well, it'll be pitch dark. They said they won't be able to see so much as a saveloy in front of their mouths. <laughs> But we will, that's the point, because they've invented these clever cameras that can somehow see, so we'll all be able to watch people making fools of themselves, which uh, all sounded quite attractive to me. <laughs> it's uh, it's a, a bit like, it's a cross between It's a Knockout and Badger Watch. <laughs> so I said I'm in. And uh, I think I probably need to explain a bit more. I'm going to just mince over here. Ooh. Because what happens, you see, when the lights go out, and I think they're going to go, yes, there's someone going down on the light switch as we speak. <laughs> it's going to get very, very dark. When, the, when they're going out on your screen at home, you'll get this little picture will appear, you see. <laughs> anything, anything could happen in the dark, for all you know. There could be, there could be thousands of spiders up in the rafters. <laughs> Dan, wouldn't that be awful if that happened right now? <laughs> they were only plastic. Can we bring the lights up now? Very gently, please. Oh, no. <laughs> now, I've got a few house guests. Where is my housekeeper, Mrs. Fratchley? Have some applause for Mrs. Fratchley. Just sort out these people, help them with some tea and lapsang and, and whatever. And I'm just going to have a little chat. Hello. Hi. You look horribly young. Old enough. And <laughs> you put your, keep your name labels on, please. Your Mark, aren't you? Yep. And your Barbara. Tart. <laughs> no? No, thanks. You're all right. Not everyone can wear tank tops, Barbara. <laughs> You obviously can, so let's get a bit of information. Are you an engaged couple? Yeah. Let's look at the, at the ring. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> well, he obviously thinks a great deal of you. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Indeed. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure you'll have lovely children. <laughs> <laughs> Move over to our next couple now. It's Marlena and Simon. You're not actually a couple, I believe. No. You're just friends, Simon. Just friends, yeah. Simon, try and keep your legs together. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Simon, you're 32. <gasps> yes. And you're a PE teacher. In fact, you both are. Yes. You've got a, you've got a hilarious hysterical laugh, apparently. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, um, just a little taster of things to come. <laughs> just relax, both of you. <laughs> PE teachers. <laughs> And here we have a couple called Julie and Tony. Julie, what's in your mouth? Nothing now. You swallow, do you? <laughs> and Tony, Tony, you're 26 and uh, you are a couple and you're both Parks Constables from London. Absolutely. Tell me what happened one day when you and Julie were patrolling the park. Well... <laughs> I had to show jo Julie the ropes because she was new and uh, so we were walking along on the beach together around the park and I asked her if she'd like to breach by law 32 with me. A little did she know that means hanky-panky in the enclosures. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't like to think about it. And uh, you put yourself an unusual dresser. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, I just thought I'd get to know our couples a little bit first before I humiliate them in front of the general public. <laughs> we'll get on with this nonsense now. I think we'll play some games. The idea is, are you listening, Julie? We're going to put you through some tests, which are kind of games, um, and you'll play those in the dark, OK? One lucky couple will get the chance to play in our final game, which is called The Power Trip. And uh, in that game, if you can light up all five windows on my house... <laughs> ..then you might get to win an all-expenses-paid trip to New York. <laughs> New York there. So the 
the first game. I wonder if I could lure you all into my bedroom to play our first game, which is called Bedroom Farce. Now, pay attention. What happens <laughs> is you, have, you go in there, in the dark, obviously, and there's a laundry basket. Find some pyjamas, Mark. Put them on, everybody. In another basket, you'll find some slippers. Put those on as well. Then locate your partner and then feel around until you find a water bed. You see, close your mouth. Get in the water <laughs> bed. Get in the water bed and then put some face cream on. Because none of us are getting any younger, Marlene. <laughs> and this is fragile. <laughs> Our guests have all decided to share the same room. Could you show them, therefore, into the Frank Boff suite? So, listen, punters, you have two and a half minutes to prepare yourselves for bedtime, and your time starts now. Look for the... <laughs> look for the laundry baskets. <laughs> I want you to find some pyjamas. Oh, Mark's found some pyjamas. <laughs> that's Barbara. No, that's a fluffy toy. You can take that with you if you want. <laughs> I know you're a nursery nurse, but you're not at work now. Some pyjamas. Oh, now look. Julie's doing rather well. She's found something. Oh, it's a nice now you need some slippers. <laughs> slippers for your feet. For that one, it's lovely. That's uh, one and a half minutes left. <laughs> Where are you going, Julie? Ah, <laughs> oh, there's a basket, Julie. See if you can find some slippers. <laughs> There will be marks for slippers. Very good. That's a matching pair. Yeah. It's time to locate your partners now, please. Locate the relevant partner. Yeah, that's a slipper. Put it on. Very good, Julie. 30... <laughs> Now you need to find your partners and get into bed. For the face screen. Get into bed now, you've got 20 seconds left. Hurry up. Let's get into bed with anybody. I'll put the face cream on. Face cream. Face cream. Get into bed and put the face cream on. Next to the bed is the face cream. <laughs> Hurry up and put the face cream on. Oh. We'll have to stop. Yeah. I'm coming in now. <laughs> Time to upset that. <laughs> Could you have the lights off now, please? You two, I think I'll give you five, OK? You two, extra marks for the face cream. <laughs> I'm going to give these two seven points, I think, and um, I don't want to hear any arguments. <laughs> you two, um, I think I'll give them six points. So there we are, Mrs F, if you could evacuate my chamber now, I'd be very grateful. <laughs> Julie and Tony, I don't quite know what to say to you to except you won't be needing to update your passports just yet. <laughs> Mrs. Fragley, could we have some consolation prizes for them? <clears throat> it's the, um, <laughs> the monogrammed towels and the shampoo from Dun Cruz, and I figured that you're probably going to take them with you anyway. <laughs> so um, off you go. And bear in mind, while you're watching the rest of the show, that uh, you just weren't as good as these other people. <laughs> Julie and Tony, thank you. Now, I'm in the mood for another lark in the dark. I don't know about you, Marlene. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> 
She's willing. So we're going to play a game. I've called it Are You Being Served? <laughs> and you have to perform the simple task of serving a three-course meal to a couple of friends of mine in the dining room. Mrs. Fratchley. <laughs> what have you cooked up for us? On the menu tonight, Mr. Julian, <laughs> we have oxtail soup, spaghetti and meatballs, mm -hmm. and jelly and cream. Well, my <laughs> mouth's watering. <laughs> Mrs. Fratchley, slip them into the dining room, would you? Would you like to follow Mrs. F? And uh, we'll have a jolly good laugh. Okay. Now, this woman here is, in fact, Barbara's mother. Am I right? Yes. Hello. Um, <laughs> we've flown her in secretly um, from County Mayo. That's not your real hair, is it? No. <laughs> Thank the Lord for that. <laughs> The other person will be served by our two PE teachers. <laughs> Who, don't be so rude. I'm, I'm sorry, Tommy. He is, in fact, the deputy headmaster <laughs> in the school where they teach. Can we have the lights down now, first of all? Down. Oh, you've gone luminous, Mrs F. <laughs> now, you have three minutes to serve a three-course meal, starting from now. First thing you need to do is locate the food. <laughs> no. Behind that plant. There you are, you found the table. Well done, Barbara. That's the food. Now find the oxtail soup. <laughs> Still soup, Barbara. Oh, no, just you're there. That's the table. Oh, so put your I hand down. There's the table. Where are now, very good, Barbara. Where? Here. Oxtail soup is what you're looking for, Marlene. A spoon. Oxtail soup. That's not oxtail soup. Soup and a spoon. Yep. <laughs> right. A little bit faster now, please. Oops. What's this? Serve the soup, Mark. Quickly, quickly serve the soup. We've got the spoon upside down. Serve the soup. Well done. Now, could you go back and get the meatballs, please? That's enough soup, Marlene. Spaghetti and meatballs we're after now. You have one and a half minutes left. And we're nowhere near the spaghetti, so take the spaghetti over. Spaghetti and meatballs. Fast enough, please. Quicker, Barbara. Yeah, yeah. Get a move on. Pick up the spaghetti and serve it. Right, give her some spaghetti. Oh, 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 oh. Move a bit faster, Simon. Where's the table gone? You've only got 50 seconds left. Just put the spaghetti on her lap, if necessary. <laughs> put the spaghetti on her lap, why don't you? We've half a minute left, and um, of course, we're looking for some jelly now. 25 seconds left. Could you locate the jelly? 20 seconds. I will give you points for jelly. Well done, Mark. Just put the jelly on her lap if necessary. Last few seconds, as quick as you can, and serve the food. Give you some marks. Stay exactly where you are. Could we have the lights up now, please? Ah, oh, oh. oh, right. <laughs> now, the first thing I want to show you, Simon and Marlena, and you two, who's this woman here? Oh, it's Barbara's mother. My mother! <laughs> it is indeed your mother. Well, I'll probably have to give you more marks just for keeping the table upright. <laughs> I think out of ten, it's quite a good show. I think you deserve seven points. OK? Simon and Marlene. And, um, well, what can I say? I think um, I'll be generous and I'll give them five points. This is Bradley. Wet wipes. And uh, clean these people up, would you? And I'll see you out in the front garden.
Splendid. when you've got a moment. Thank you ever so much for coming. Thank you, Headmaster. Another. Barbara and Mark, well, what can I say? You've lost Springs to Mind. Um, with consolation prizes, Mrs. Fragley. <laughs> Lovely bath towels and a bath robe there. Take it with you for whatever you heterosexuals do when you're in the bathroom. Bye bye. Good afternoon. Now then, are you both ready for the power trip? Yeah, definitely. You are. Well, that's coming up very shortly in part two. Depending on how they perform in that game, they may or may not be going off on an all-expenses-paid holiday to New York. <laughs> and now it's time for the climax in the dark that we've all been waiting for. <gasps> Would you welcome Marlene and Simon? Remember them? <laughs> In my lounge, uh, in the dark, obviously, um, I've scattered a number of fuses like this, and we're going to send you in there one at a time. OK? Do you follow so far? Bring me out a fuse, and inside the fuse will be a question. If you answer that question correctly, you will light up one of these windows. <laughs> but not only that, I'll give you £100 for every window you light up. If, and only if, you light up five windows... <laughs> oh, I've had a multiple. <laughs> then, if that happens, then you'll be going on our all-expenses-paid trip to New York. <laughs> OK, do you follow? Now, because it's the final game, we are going to give you a certain amount of light. As you go into the lounge, on the right, there's a switch. You press that switch and you'll get a little bit of flickering strobe light and hopefully you'll see one of these somewhere, OK? You've got two and a half minutes to light up five of my windows. Simon, you're yeah. going first. Come and stand by the door and I'll give you the off. In you go. Your time won't start until you actually open the lounge door. <laughs> Here he is. Your time starts now. Look for a fuse. There's quite a few on the sofa, usually. <laughs> look on the sofa. Oh, he's found one. <laughs> Oh, you fool. Where did it go? He's doing something very undignified on the floor. What are you doing, Simon? I think there's one on the wall, on the mantelpiece. It's all gone horribly wrong, Marlene. Where's the door? On the mantelpiece. Where's the door? Just there, no. Where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? That's right. Just there, that's the door. Oh, I hope he's come to no harm, Marlene. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Uh, can you tell me, please, a jack-o'-lantern is a pumpkin traditionally hollowed out for Halloween celebrations. True or false? True. True is correct. Okay. There we are, on your, on your way, Marlene. Is she in there yet? Just catch up, right? She's in the room, having a little look. Oh, on the mantelpiece. Above you there, on the mantelpiece. She's fine. No, she arrives. She arrives. There's the door. Yes. Yes, open it. Open the door. Out. It's 1 minute 29 you have left. OK, she's found a few. She's on her way out. Well done, Marlene. Now, which Shakespearean character asked, what light through yonder window breaks? Was it Romeo or Juliet? Romeo, Romeo. Romeo is Romeo. correct. Yes, you get another window. <laughs> Juliet, who broke wind. <laughs> yes, try the fireplace this time. The fireplace. No, he's looking on the sofa. There's probably one. Oh, he's found one. Well done. Come through the door. 
OK, you have one minute, 17 seconds left. And you've got two windows so far. We just need another three. Well done, Simon. Let's have a look at the question. Las Vegas was one of the first cities in the United States to use electric street lighting. True or false? Yeah. False. False is correct. Yes. <laughs> oh, and to think, I was the first person in our street to have a, a ruched lampshade. <laughs> and that's a true story. Oh, she's in the room. Don't look. Where's she going? Oh, she's trying another area. Oh, she's found one. She's on her way out. Head from the door. Head the door. You're doing terribly well. You've got three right, and um, you've got about a minute left. So New York is winking at you. Here's your question. When was the last occupied rock lighthouse evacuated? Was it 1976 or 1996? 1976. 1976. 1976. Sorry? 76. I'm sorry, it was 1996. No window that time. You've still got a minute left. One minute five, in fact. Who's in there? Ignored that. Oh, oh. No, above on the mantelpiece. Above, yes. Just heard it. Just heard it. Oh, and you've got 54 seconds left. Oh, I've come over all moist. Where are you? Well done, Simon. Let's give you this question. Hush. Where was the first neon sign erected? Was it in Paris or in Brussels? Brussels. Paris. 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 Paris is correct. <laughs> now we need one more window left. She's going to find it. Let's find the door. Right behind you. Oh, God, she She's found something on the floor. She's making her way out. Oh, it brings out the worst in people, this day. And here is your final question. If you answer this correctly, you've won a trip. All expenses paid to New York. Is Set the Twilight Reeling the title of a night fishing manual or the title of the new Lou Reed album? Set the Twilight Reeling. Night fishing or Lou Reed album? Lou Reed. Is correct. Champagne. You're going to hold the towels, and of course, in this envelope are your tickets to New York. <laughs> it's really exciting. Now, ladies and gentlemen, bear in mind, next time you're in the dark, I might be there watching you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much.